Welcome to Integration and Omni Television. I'm your host, Hoden Nalea. Thank you so much for joining us every week as we bring you diverse Canadian stories. Today, we're actually at a location that is very uh, amazing to be at. This is one of the few tech companies that are Canadian found and Canadian based. We're at Shopify to meet uh, an amazing entrepreneur who's changing the game of app development and uh, inspiring young Muslims around the world. So join us for Integration TV as we take you around Shopify and meet Roble Chama. Let's go. Hey, Roble, how are you? Hey, hello. Welcome to Shopify, Alexam. Thank you. Uh, welcome to Shopify. Uh, Shopify, as you mentioned, is a Canadian built company for entrepreneurs. What we do is we enable entrepreneurs to sell anything anywhere. Um, through our platform. I'm uh, so amazed this is like a Canadian company. Like, this is phenomenal. Yeah. Um, Canadian founded. We have six offices. Um, there's over 400,000 merchants that use Shopify to sell online uh, and offline as well. Amazing. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it's a, an amazing Canadian success story. Well, we, are, we think that you're an amazing Canadian success story yourself. Um, so let's go down and kind of learn cool. more about you because I'm interested in telling our viewers that you created some of the maze, most amazing dynamic apps on Apple Store before, and now you're here at Shopify. Yes, as I, as I mentioned, this is the Toronto office. Um, one of two offices in Toronto, but this is the main one. The headquarters is in Ottawa. That's where the company started. We just came upstairs to a rooftop. Look at this. This is amazing, Roble. Look at this here. Wow. This is like Toronto right in your office. Yeah, this is life at Shopify. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna actually type quickly someone I want you to follow that is so amazing that I just interviewed this morning. All my motivated Somalis and Muslimas and Muslims out there. Um, what's your Instagram name? Rob Jama. Okay. You need to follow. Look at this where I'm at, guys. Look at this rooftop. This is Toronto. Welcome. So do weather. Rob Chama. Yes, Robla Chama is in the house. He is a tech entrepreneur. Yes. Yeah, you could say that. And so much more. More than that, he's a believer, guys, who's living the sunnah. Mashallah, mashallah. Let's do it. Here we go. So do I. Let me pin it and so you guys can follow him. Oh my God, Dixon from Hergesa is on. You got to say hi to him. Wow, Hergesa, hello. Ah, hi, guys. Salam alaikum. So let's turn around this way. This is the, the rooftop view. Can, can, it, can, it, can you get any better than this? Roll it. Look at this outside, man. People are chatting live with you. Isn't it amazing? Guys, give him some heart so he can see the power of Somali social media. Rolda, thanks so much for having us here, walking us through this amazing company. What are you doing at Shopify? I know you're an entrepreneur uh, developing apps in the Apple App Store previously. What are you doing here now? This is amazing. So I, I joined uh, Shopify six months ago. Uh, Shopify acquired my company, Tiny Hearts, which is a mobile product studio that I started back in 2010. Uh, so I've been in the app game for a while, and uh, more recently when I joined Shopify, I joined on as a senior product manager on the Garage team, and the Garage team or group here at Shopify works on a lot of cool experimental products that are a bit different than what Shopify typically does, um, and a bit riskier. Uh, and so it's very similar to what I was doing at Tiny Hearts, and it's been like a really, really good fit. Uh, and that's what I do here, making products, doing a lot of what I used to do, but now uh, with a much bigger team, um, and, uh, and uh, a much bigger stage. It's amazing. So how does somebody like wake up and say, I want to be a tech entrepreneur? Because I think you've kind of set a standard where you're sharing your passion, but also you know, doing some amazing work in this world. I mean, I loved your av you know, the wake up alarm. <laughs> Very yeah. simple, but so needed, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's one of those things where you just wake up and say, I'm going to do it. Um, you, it's one of those things that you have to put in the work, and it takes years um, to get to eventually where you want to be. Uh, and so for me, I realized that um, tech is what I was really interested in and the area that I wanted to develop some skills in. And the way I did that was by just starting and building things, uh, things that I wanted to see in the world and learning by doing uh, and learning by making a lot of mistakes. Uh, so, so essentially, that's I think the, it's a journey. Uh, and for me, it's been a 10-year journey. So what inspires you daily? Uh, so for me, like if I go back to my story, it was really about taking a step back. We're all consumers and we're consuming technology and we're consuming products. There's certain things that we like. Uh, and for me, I enjoyed using a lot of really well-designed products. And I got to a point where I was just tired of using these things and tired of just reading about them. Uh, and I wanted to create them and I wanted to be a producer and not just a consumer. Uh, and for me, that was kind of the switch that went off in my mind. And that's when I started to realize that um, 
you can create these things that millions of people use. Uh, and these things that um, we can create through technology benefit others uh, and have the power to make somebody's life a little bit better. As an entrepreneur, like how do you balance your time? In entrepreneurship or outside of entrepreneurship, uh, there's like key skills that you need to have. Uh, and I think that's kind of like the one message that I want to get across. It's not about um, the end goal, like just being fascinated about I want to be like this or I want to do that or I want to have this much of this. Mm -hmm. uh, I think what you should be focused more on is like what are the skills that will help you achieve those goals. Uh, and that's so time, powerful. Yeah. So skills are more important than the goal. Uh, I think in a lot of ways and skills mm -hmm. are more important than passions for, uh, and like following your passion I think is mm -hmm. not always the best advice. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, a better way to approach that is to develop valuable skills nice. uh, and as you develop a valuable skill and as you get better at something um, you develop a passion uh, and the better you get at something usually the more you like it. Um, and what do you think are some of the important skills now in this technology driven world that we live in? I think like the basics of um, prioritizing, managing mm -hmm. uh, your time, uh, we're obviously distracted yes. uh, and we're in a distracted age and we have all these technologies that are um, in a lot of ways distracting us even more. So, so managing that uh, attention and focus I think is like a huge skill to have. There's the other basics of just around communication, mm -hmm. uh, writing, speaking. Any last words of advice for young people out there who want to pursue their dreams? Because everybody does, right? Yeah. Besides uh, the skills part. Besides the it's, not a, it's not an easy journey, right? Yeah, it's not an easy journey. I think um, try to be valuable to the world and try to develop those valuable skills is, I think, the, the specific advice that I have. I think the more general advice is just around putting your trust in Allah and then putting in the work. Um, um, I love that about you is the fact that you put faith very forefront of your life, which mm -hmm. is you know, part of success, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, and I think that's, um, that is the anchor, I think, for us mm -hmm. uh, as Muslims. Um, and that is what, um, that's what we're taught. Put your trust in Allah and then put in the work. Uh, and the people who do that, the people who put in the work, are inshallah the ones that will benefit. Uh, and then the last one... I think in general is just like make Hoya proud. Um, <laughs> I love that. Uh, I have to say Hoya, we made it. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's uh, that's one of those. Don't do like, anything your mom wouldn't be a part of. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I, I'm very fortunate in that I was raised uh, by my mom and my aunt. Mm -hmm. So I've always had strong women around me, and that's always something that um, I'm I'm uh, very focused on. And now that I'm married, I have a wife, and I also have three young girls. Uh, so I'm trying to make them proud as well. So try to figure that out. Um, and for me, like prioritizing faith and family uh, and then putting in uh, the work is, uh, is my general advice. Amazing. What a beautiful message. Thank you so much again for joining us. Thank you. This is Integration Omni Television. Don't forget, you can follow us on social media where we live 24 hours a day on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Can we have more social media in this world?